I draw as a way of imagining my mental health rather than mental illness. My name is Bill Doan. I'm an author, an educator, and a solo performance artist. I've been an associate dean at a large a research university across the globe. Spent a year as the president educator, of the association. I'm an author I was even inducted into the College of Fellows of the American solo Theater. My name is Bill Doan. From all outward appearances, I was a confident, self-possessed person. But inside, inside I was slowly, slowly dying. dying. Like most people with anxiety and depression, I learned how to keep my secret. I thought the problem was me. I was different and not good enough. I was weird. As I got older, I felt angry. It got harder and harder to keep my secret. When it was time to come out of hiding, I didn't know how. So I started drawing. So I started drawing. The images captured how I was feeling much better than any words I tried to use. After three years of making work, I felt a growing sense that I might actually come apart at the seams. Once I understood how good drawing makes me feel, I became intentional about drawing. I draw every day, and sometimes I'll just simply draw what I see birds, flowers, landscapes, people, myself, to stay grounded in the here and now. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Now draw. Drawing can provide just the distraction your brain needs. So grab a pencil, a pen, a crayon, a piece of chalk, anything you can make a mark with. And then find some paper, any paper, Draw things you can see in the room. Draw things you see outside your window. Use more than one of the tools that you've picked up and make marks, doodle, scribble, draw for at least 10 or 15 minutes. And don't worry what it looks like, just do it. Your brain will thank you. Hmm.